Oh, I turned the camera and I didn't realize it. So let's see if I can readjust. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're back in the middle. <laughs> good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, happy Star Wars Day if you're, you're one who goes along with the, uh, the whole May the 4th type of thing. But every day is Star Wars Day. So um, today is May 4th. We will be looking more at Luke chapter 12 as we continue on in Matin. And um, I can't think of too many things to note up uh, before we dive on in. So I, I hope you all have a brilliant day. Um, if you feel like watching uh, one of the Star Wars movies, that would be highly appropriate for today, but not during Matin. So now you can wait till Matin is done. So, all right, <clears throat> let's begin. Should have been drinking out of a Star Wars cup, but I'll still use my coffee by Gillespie. Available online. I have uh, my new shipment for May, but I, I'm still finishing up the last of April. So, so let's begin. <clears throat> oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, come, let us worship him. Let's go see what our psalm for the day is. Our psalm for today ooh, is Psalm 127 in its entirety. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one Jew. Blesses the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our, uh, ooh, ooh, unless the Lord builds it. Our reading for today is Luke 12, 13 through 34. So let's uh, hear this and enjoy. Someone in the crowd said to him, that is to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care and be on your guard against all covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. And he told them a parable, saying, 
The land of a rich man produced plentifully, and he thought to himself, What shall I do, for I have nowhere to store my crops? And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods, laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself, and is not rich towards God. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, yet God feeds them. And of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat, and what you are to drink, nor be worried. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, Seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Blessed are those who the word of God and keep it. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. One of the things that is ironic, and, and it's played out culturally, is we, we are getting wealthier. I, I know all the political, all oh, the wealth gap. No, just at, I, I was listening. Uh, global poverty has declined rapidly. And in terms of what our, our money is able to purchase, our technology, uh, think on this. Uh, I am uh, recording this on a small portable computer screen that's basically an 11 inch TV that's portable. Uh, 30 years ago, what would that have been? Oh, and you might be watching it on your phone, which is a portable TV radio. I, I like the thing where it, it uh, shows the, the Radio Shack ad. And all the things on the cover are set up in your phone. We're, we're, we're incredibly wealthy. We're incredibly blessed with what we have. And yet what also has ratcheted up? We're so much more anxious about stuff. We, we don't have security. And I think that is because we have not been on guard against covetousness. Instead of seeing the, the increase of what we have and thanking God, we're seeing more and more what others might have, or that we might lose what we have. That drives anxiety and fear and anger and all the things we see percolating in society. And so I, I will give, uh, now based off of this, uh, Pastor Brown's general advice that, that I give to the, the folks who go through uh, pre-marriage counseling with me. And I say, for, for handling your finances, and this is important because 
There, there are two things that tend to tank marriages, bad finances and sexual infidelity. So it, it, if you don't go bankrupt because you can agree on how you spend stuff, and if you don't sleep around, chances are your marriage will work. Um, but the advice I give is um, what you should do, first thing with any money that you get, is give some of it away. Uh, now, yes, I, I do talk about giving money to the church. I don't say give a flat percent. If you want to do 10% because it's easy, if you want to sit around. But, but the first thing you should do with when you get money is give it away. And if you want to give to other charities besides the church too, great! I, I have vested interest in the church receiving money because that's how I get paid. But I mean, no, I mean, whatever you do, be generous with what you have received from God. And what that does is it really does work to keep money from becoming an idol for you. Because you don't give away your idols. You cling on to them. And Jesus here is pointing out these things that are good. Money is good. Food is good. Clothing is good. But if we cling to them and treat them like idols, all they do is drive us to anxiety and fear. And rather than receiving with joy our daily bread, for our Father knows that we need all these things, these things we cling to them. We, we cling to the things instead of God, and it drives us miserable. How do we view life? Is life a brutal struggle, a rat race where we must fight against each other tooth and nail, or is it we are people who have been richly blessed by God and he continues to give us daily bread of utter abundance. And even in the midst of strange and confusing times replete with dangers we could not imagine, he still continues to provide good things to us and through us to others. Those are two radically different ways of viewing the world. And one is replete of fear and anxiety. And the other is replete with peace and confidence in God. If you're not able to do such a small thing as that, adding a span, a single hour to your life, why are you anxious about the rest? He's got the whole world in his hand. That's a good thing. Don't try to jump out of the pan. He has your care both now and he has your care eternally in the forgiveness of sins that you have in Christ Jesus. It's all good in Christ. When we see Christ, when, when we remember him, when we are focused on him, everything else sorts out. But the more we put Jesus into a corner, the more the the crucifix is over there, never seen. The, the more the fact that we are his baptized children isn't front and center in the church, but rather is off in a closet. The more anxious we become, the more fearful we become. Rather than being able to say, this is the Lord, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So, God does good things for you. That's the reality of it. And people who try to make you think otherwise are selling something and probably selling it through fear and manipulation. So, having said that, then, let us with uh, thanksgiving and joy and expectation and hope go forth and we will uh, do the suffrages. If I can find them. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday we'll do the suffrages. And close up with prayer, and then I'll, I'll get to go do preschool. We keep the, the story yesterday and today is Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. So it's fun. I got to draw a chariot. So let's go. On. We'll see if they can recognize that's the chariot. So let's begin. <clears throat> holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I cry to you, O Lord, in the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness, O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings of body and soul that you pour out upon us. And we ask that you would make us both see your generosity to us, but also guard and protect us from covetousness and, and greed that would make us take these blessings as, as idols, as, as things to be clung to instead of great gifts that we've received and great gifts that we may use for the good of others. Bless us in our going forth this day. Help us to use all the blessings you've given us, our talents, our time, our treasures, for the good of the people that you place into their lot, place into our lives. And grant that they would be so likewise generous with us and that we might all together delight in your good favor. Heavenly Father, be with those who are anxious about their lives. Find ways to support them and give them peace. Where there are needs, see that those needs are provided. Where there is fear, grant that fear would be relieved. Where there are illnesses and troubles, if it is your will, grant health and restoration. And in whatever case, grant that they might know the love that you have for them in Christ Jesus and that their life is eternally in your hands and not just this brief span on earth. Keep us safe then this day, O Lord, in all our comings and goings, and guide direct us in all that we do, so that we might uh, rejoice in your manifold gifts to us. This we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The concluding prayers. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with you, that the evil foe may have no power over you. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. All right, everyone. Have a good day and all that type of good stuff. And I will see you when the Lord lets me see you. Bye.